what is up guys and welcome back to the channel guys we got an interesting one here uh i don't think i ever done this one because it's from uh jack sucks at geography but we here with the world's most interesting borders uh just from the thumbnail i do remember seeing that border i believe with uh, germany belgium type of border thing so we gonna check this out and see how different it is i seen one with like india and pakistan that was trending on uh tiktok hilarious violent but hilarious but hilarious but let's check this out world's most interesting borders residents of narco arizona and narco mexico play volleyball with each other over a fence between the usa <laughs> and mexico that is so nice so that's what usa on the left and then mexico over on the right and it's a little fence and the ball goes whoop, 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 whoop. oh my Just god kidding. that's incredible slovakia austria and hungary and there's wow. a three-way bench oh i really want to sit on that bench i love a bench and having a bench where i could lie across the top that's crazy three three? Is incredible whoa that one's badass norway and sweden Whoa. And then it's a big long path up a mountain that you could like snowboard down. That is incredible. Dang, Netherlands is... and Belgium, right? This is quite a famous one. For some reason, the Belgium and Netherlands. Yeah, that's what it was. Netherlands and Belgium. Incredible. Netherlands and it wasn't Germany, it was Netherlands and Belgium. That's crazy. Belgium, right? This is quite a famous one. For some reason, the Belgium and Netherlands borders are just ridiculous. There's all kinds of like tiny enclaves and exclaves. <laughs> so they've got these markings everywhere. And you can see that this bit of the restaurant is in the Netherlands. And then this bit on the right is in Belgium. And in some cases like this one, the border literally passes through people's houses. That's crazy. So it meant the Belgium and the Netherlands had to I call... remember seeing a video on my other channel with that. I thought that was interesting, but I think it's cool that they label it so you would know. With this rule, where basically if your front door's here in Belgium, but like most of your houses in the Netherlands because your front doors in Belgium you are classed as being from Belgium So you have to pay all your taxes to Belgium and stuff So one particular oh, wow. guy literally ended up moving the position of their front door just so they could change which country they were from Haiti and the Dominican That's Republic crazy. distinguished by their radically different environmental protection laws So I don't know what those environmental laws are, but this is the Dominican Republic side So in Haiti oh. you're allowed to chop down whatever trees and foliage you want And you can see the negative effect that's had on the nature around that area. It's sad, but it's cool to visualize isn't it? All of the <laughs> Ukraine? They've got big fish! Oh, no, right. <laughs> you know what? This has nothing to do with borders, but it reminds me of a really cool fossil I've got that I'm going to show you. Wait there. This is my new fossil box. It's full of fossils. Look at this! Oh, it's wow. a 51 million year old fish fossil. Dang! <laughs> I got it cheap because it's got a crack through the middle, and that's why it reminds <laughs> me of the border between Poland oh, and Ukraine. Oh, everything! That might just be the same one. Zipline same connects thing. Spain and Portugal. That's so epic. No way. You, imagine you get on your zipline, you go, woo, and you're in another country. Fantastic. I like to imagine you have to have your passport. Hey, that seems like the quickest way to travel to another country right here, though, you know? You imagine you get on your zipline, you go, Let me go to Spain and get some country. groceries. Fantastic. I like to imagine you have to have your passport and your visa, like, in your hand as you go <laughs> down, and, like, someone just confirms all it all the way past. Wouldn't that be incredible? Whoa, that's pretty striking. This is a different area of the USA and Mexico border, Whoa. and it's so much more urbanly built up and compact over on the Mexico side. Mexico is obviously a lot That's smaller than the US, so they don't have as much free space willy nilly. That is crazy seeing the difference so close to each other. Argentina, Brazil, and Paraguay wow. all separated by this big fat river. That is a fat river, I'm not gonna lie. Macau drives on the left side of the road, whereas mainland China drives on the right. What? So this is what they do at the border. They've had to create like a penis shaped road. <laughs> that is mental. I mean, it's clever, and I imagine it'd be That's different for sure. On, but it's crazy to look at. Yes, another USA versus Mexico border, and and once again, we're seeing something similar, but from a bird's eye view. Yeah, this one in particular crazy. is ridiculous, though. If anything, it's kind of sad, isn't it? Because obviously I could be wrong, but I assume this isn't particularly good housing. And it's very small. Right. It's just a shame to see so much free space so close, yet so inaccessible. Denmark and Sweden. Yeah. That's a pretty one. They've oh, got a big I think I, bridge between them. I think I've seen this bridge a couple of times in some videos. That's pretty cool. That's beautiful. Sweden and Norway. Look at that. He's got <laughs> one leg, one arm, one testicle in each country. I feel like I've talked about male genitalia far too many times in this video. I don't know why it keeps coming. <laughs> Up. Germany and the Czech Republic showcase two different approaches to bark beetle infestation. What? Silver cultural intervention versus international neglect. Right, so some kind of like tree disease was just left to run rampant in the Czech Republic, but in Germany, Germany they managed to get fine. on top of it. I assume that's what they're saying. And it's interesting to see it side by yeah, side. Although I will say international neglect sounds a bit harsh to the <laughs> Czech Republic when we don't know all the context here. Thanks. Spain and Portugal. Ah, so it literally ends like at the road that way. So Portugal's roads aren't as fancy looking as Spain. That's what I was just about to say. I was like, why the 
Portugal rose look so bad. It's in this particular area. Where the, the taxes at the cover this? Completely stopped. Egypt and Israel. Right, we are so high in the air here. This is our highest image Dang. by far. And what's very interesting is the sand or the rock or whatever the terrain is, is literally a different color on that line. I wonder what causes that. Germany, Poland, and Czechia. Do you know what? I would love to do some Jackson Dang, that's cool. videos where we go to some of these borders. Like, imagine if we could actually go to that weird Netherlands, Belgium town and be an annoying little tourist. It'd be <laughs> Whoa, North Korea versus South Korea. Right, so if I'm understanding the map correctly, North yeah. Korea's here, and for whatever reason, North Korea just don't have any lights on. That one's a bit scary. I'm All right. Lie. Golden triangle between Thailand, Myanmar, and what Laos. In the world? I like these triangular borders. Very, very <laughs> nice. There's something satisfying about them. Adrian's Wall, Scotland's next to England. Built because the Romans were afraid of the Scots. No, I've never That's been to Adrian's Wall, even though I only lived like a couple of hours away from it. I'll have to go because it's like a more accessible, way naffa, Great Wall of China. <laughs> Austria and Slovenia at the Alpine border. What in the world? Snow has been polite enough to stay only on the Austrian. See, this is crazy right here. But I do tell people, people don't realize, like, when it's raining, like, say, for instance, in my town, when it's raining, it don't rain in the whole town. Sometimes it rains in certain spots. So this kind of makes sense. If it's snowing in certain spots, I mean, you know, it's a little snow over there, you know, but the snow probably came from over here in Austria. Inside. That's interesting, isn't it? Oh, this isn't a country border. This is a continental border. Asia versus Europe. Where, so where is Russia. it? In Russia? I don't know how they work out which bit of Russia is Asia. Oh, Russia is, is big. The India and Pakistan border visible from space. Right, so I'm assuming it's this big long wow. line there. So they must just have lights all the way along. Is that why? Oh, it looks it looks a bit intense. Oh, dang. Yeah, okay. USA and Canada. See, isn't it a bit sad that that's what the USA Canada <laughs> one looks like? What state is that? In the US. Berlin, the light bulbs still show the east slash west division from orbit. Okay, I don't know tons about Berlin history, but I'm assuming this is where the Berlin Wall used to be. Mm. So is it literally that they just use different kinds of light bulbs then? That's so interesting that from that like high up, brighter you can light still bulb. see a difference so many years on. David does a good point though. So you're telling me they haven't changed their light bulbs since 1989. What's going <laughs> on? waterfall at the border between Vietnam and China. Wow. Right. I mean, that's too nice, isn't it? I don't like when the water looks so nice that it just looks animated. It's too it much do look course. animated. Pascal Public Library between Quebec and Vermont. So it <laughs> literally goes through the middle of the library. I want That's to see funny. it on the map. Yes, look at that. Look at it right on the border. Oh my god, and there That's it is. The border crazy. literally goes right through it. Oh, that's so satisfying. I don't even know. I, I think that's cool. I gotta go to a place where there's a border. Oh, why? Oh, they've drawn an actual line. Look at that. <laughs> that's amazing. Well, look at this one. Iran and Iraq border. War you lines. You can still see various war lines 26 years Dang. later. So I assume when people are fighting, they got to move a bit forward, and then they had to retreat for various reasons, and this just created all that's these That's interesting. Lines. That is sad. Border between Alaska and Canada. Why is it so different looking on this side? The snow's all manky there, and the snow's so pretty on that side. What's that about? So the vacuum <laughs> versus poor. Poland, main ridge of the high Tatras mountains. Oh, it looks dry it over there in Poland. All the way along the peak of the mountain. It's quite a bit friendlier and more geographically satisfying to just base your borders off something that was already there before you decided that you owned this and someone else owned that right. bit over there. You know what I mean? The Friendship Bridge on the border of Vietnam and China over wow. on that side. Well, that's a nice name, isn't it? Very nice. <laughs> this box divides France and Spain. Well, it doesn't do a very what? good job, does it? Because, like, if I'm Where still am there, I am I in France? Am I in Spain? Why well, have you got a box? You need a wall or, or a fence. <laughs> saw something France and Spain. That's not helping yeah, that anyone, mate. Switzerland yeah. and Liechtenstein. Wow. So you think about Liechtenstein being like a really tiny place. Super but then tiny. You see this and you realize the world's just massive. So even though comparatively Liechtenstein is a tiny country, it'd still take you a while to walk about it, wouldn't it? But you know what? That was actually really fascinating and I want to do more stuff like this. Dang, I need to see more. Yeah, if y'all are watching this and y'all see it. Hey, let me know what I can find so I can see some more interesting border. No, but I think that's pretty cool. I like. I like the uh, the Netherlands and Belgium one because it seemed like they they got it they got it pat down you know they got the little they had the little stone tiles and stuff covered at the N L and the B and all that so that's pretty cool but definitely would be interesting to see that you can be at two countries at one time you know pretty cool pretty cool but that's all I have for this video guys short sweet you know how it is y'all hit that subscribe button y'all be blessed be the best and be you.